Hello and welcome to the course. So the course starts now and to begin with we'll be coding a small uh, portfolio website for us. I would advise all of you to code with me and follow me. If you have any problem let me know and uh, I'm hoping everybody has set up VS Code. I'll show you how to set up if you have not. What I would say is uh, this is what we are going to make actually. Let me show you that uh, this one. So this is how the website will look it's hosted locally right now but I'll show you hosting of this as well let's begin we have a lot of work to do so if you do not have Visual Studio code you can go to this location or just type Visual Studio code download and this will be the first link I recommend Visual Studio code to for coders but if you are laptop is slow if you do not have a very very fast laptop even notepad plus plus free is good this is for slower laptops it's really good so maybe try this or this depending on your on your configuration of your laptop but anything works I mean uh, it, it does not matter that much so let's begin this is our end goal this is how we'll make the website and we'll host it as well in this course itself so time is running out mm, okay already three minutes let's see so how are we going to do this we'll create a new window and in that new window we'll say we'll say new file and we'll just save this file naming index.html and we'll save this in users tabletop metastartup.io and uh, we will make a new folder profile and create and save so now it's here it's accessible now and we'll so this shows your open folder folder this folder open this folder so now we have the folder open come on oh, so I have to open a folder uh, Macintosh let us start up IO again profile and then open and the folder is open now you have index.html file here we'll write a little bit of HTML to start uh, so to begin you write HTML like this and then you have a head tag and in head you have a title and the title is Tanay Pratap it should be your name there so anything which I am writing you can change and put your name there and the title and inside body we'll do a header and inside header we'll write h1 and uh, in h1 we'll say We'll say something about us. Say, let me say hi. I'm done with top. I'm learning full stack web development. Ah, I am 29 years old, <clears throat> living in Bangalore, India. You can write anything you want. Then you have say so H1 is the bigger bigger heading and if you want to do smaller heading like I am learning full stack development watch this space for my upcoming projects because in this course we'll be making projects and we'll host them on our profile so that people would know we are learning things we are making things if you want to learn with me join me at this course you see just by doing this you have learned html head tag title tag body tag header tag h1 h3 h5 simple right uh, let's see let's save this and then we have to open this in chrome so what we'll do is we'll dip it in finder and then to open with google chrome same thing would work ah so this is this is our website currently this looks awful actually uh, 
most of the websites work good on desktop and circuit mobile but most of the websites are open more on mobile than on desktop so let's do mobile development so if you do right click on chrome and go to inspect this is the mobile mobile if you don't see this view just click on the toggle device bar you might see this view or you might see this view actually to be honest so what i do is i click here and go to write dock to write and then i toggle device bar so you see this this is ugly and we'll make this beautiful and uh, something share worthy so let's do that what are the next steps so so this is html right you have text now we should have an image also right let's get the image let's get the image the image is on my instagram so if i want this image all i have to do is copy image copy image address this way the image is hosted there we don't need to even download that image okay so now we go back to this and say img now, img is used for image and you have to provide a source we provide the source this is the instagram url for the image and then that's it so you have the image now with you so if we go and see now we do a refresh so we have image we have text uh, everything is there but nothing looks like this let's make so now the content is there html is for content and css makes things beautiful so we'll do some css how will we do some css <coughs> we will go back and and create a folder here saying css and inside CSS, we will create a CSS file. So this is a CSS file, and and we'll move slowly. So first thing is, if you see right now, this body, this this entire text, you know, it's uh, it's all on white. I don't like that white color. So we we'll learn slowly by doing. As I told uh, earlier in in the video <clears throat> we don't need to learn everything at once let's learn what we need right now so we need to change the background color okay so how do we change the background color we just go ahead and say body so by this you selected the entire body if you see this I'll show you one second let me close this this is just distracting yes so if you see this so you see the body the body tag here with this you can select anything and then play with it so if we want the entire thing we select the body and then we say body background color let's some, do some value let's do 1 bb c 9 b i have set these values previously you can do anything else <clears throat> you can play with color picker here if you click on this you click on this you get the color picker you want red you want red and you want some shade of red you can do all of that with this but but i don't like this so here i i am going with this color so you did the background color <clears throat> what else what else do we need we need the we need this text color to be somewhere white let's do that let's do that if we want color to be white wow wow all color is white but i would rather have this color somewhere between white and the background color so that it gels well so what i do is i choose that color with the picker and then i said that this this looks a little better right now now this is there let's select the image let's select the image and make it round how do i make the image round i say border radius border radius 50 percent this becomes round this has started to look better but <clears throat> we need to do some more work let's get more styling done okay let's get more styling done but 
okay so this is not the way how you should style you should not put your style on image tag <coughs> on header tag the way to style is you put a class and then you select that class so what we'll do is we'll put a class goes to site header and uh, and we'll edit this class and we'll say site header site header this is the header right so site header has the background color so this all is nice background color of hash 1b bc 9b and color of hash ec ec ft f9 ft f9 <coughs> I'm sorry, my my voice has broken a little bit. I think so. Anyway, so color of this, and then we are saying this entire thing has a height of 100 vh, which means it will encompass the 100% height of your screen, whether on phone or anything. Now let's change the font a little bit. In coming videos, I'll show you how to select how to put font from internet but for now let's do just mono space this looks nice and uh, and what <clears throat> so this will do some some work there let's go and see how it looks now oh my god nothing worked out why why didn't it work out <laughs> see these are the mistakes everybody does even i do so it's good that i'm doing it before everyone what did I do? I created dot site header, but I did not put it here. Oh no, I had put it here. Why is it not working? Good. Again, the other mistake which I did was I did not connect it that. How would this HTML file know where to find site header? Because there's no CSS loaded. We do link, we do link, and then there's attribute to it, it says HF css main css so the file is connected now but how is this file connected this file should be a style sheet so the browser should know this is a style sheet okay now let's see if this works oh my god how many things like would you even guys consider learning from me after all of this i don't think so too bad isn't it anyway so so let's see yeah so this looks better now the color but do you see this this background this white margin this white margin is coming because the body has this is from the browser itself and we need to you know remove this how do we remove this now we select the body in css and say that margin is zero let's see now yes this looks better now now the problem is this is not in center there are many many more problems let's solve one one by one first thing is the image is the image is not circle anymore so let's make the image circle now we'll say dot profile pick we'll say we'll say width sorry border radius border radius 50% and uh, and what what do we do we do we go here and say class equals border -ish. profile pick right so this would solve that problem this is circular now still looks really bad now let's make it in circle first thing which we need to fix is you see how the text has gotten so small now uh, don't know why this is so let's see if I think this is because we have not put the meta tag for uh, so I don't remember the meta tag for for making it mobile friendly but what I do generally is I just go to any any other website let's go to meta startup.com say and you would see something like uh, something like this where is it yes it's here so it's awesome how web works actually you, you everything is there out there you can just right click and see anybody's source code and, and it's okay to copy I don't think anybody minds people know it's out there right 
let's save this and see if there's some change now yes it looks better isn't it but it looks like kind of on the face now because it is mobile friendly this is too big to start with let's do let's fix that let's fix the profile pic let's say that height at max should be 200 pixel and width at max should be 200 pixel because it should be a square let's see now looks better and this content is still this has gone to you know to the end let's fix that margin at least so if i have to select the entire content and give it a margin i can do this with the header with the site header but then the background will also go away and then otherwise i have to put it in all four of this the css class so the better way is to have a div outside this this is a division of the page which we want to edit and here we'll put class as class as site text or we say site header text or we say site header content yes that's better so we make site header content site header content yes and and we say margin as one gram you can give it pixels also it's not going to rams right now do many things and i'll confuse you okay this looks better but why is it coming here come on so the body is here it's outside the body that content is in here what is wrong what's wrong my friend what's wrong color background color font oc i have mistyped it here right this works right let's see oh this looks better okay so now we have to do few more things we'll see in the next video how to host this and how to make this a link also how to make this in center thank you very much for watching